Hi. So today I'm not necessarily in an interview, I'm having a conversation which actually is a blueprint of Captain Gilbert Kibe. And if you're wondering who that is, welcome to the country. He is the Director General of the Kenya Civil uh, uh, Aviation Authority. And I want to start off with, did you always know that this was going to be your path in life? Thank you so much for inviting me. Okay. Uh, I had no clue that I would ever have this job until the day that I was appointed. Wow. Yeah. But aviation seems to have been, for you, not just a, a lifestyle, but it was a love. Yes. Did you always know you were going to fly? Absolutely. From when I was 10, I knew. I used to look up at aeroplanes and say, I want to sit up there one day. Where did you grow up? Here in Nairobi. Oh, really? Yes. And you would look at the sky and say, one yeah. day? One day. I want to be in that thing that's flying overhead. And when you vocalized it, how many people told you? <laughs> oh, uh, my parents thought uh, it was a joke. Uh, and you don't so come from a flying family? No, not all right. at all. And uh, all my friends in school thought it was a joke. So they just used to enjoy me all the time. Oh, you know. I think he says he's this. going to be a pilot. Yeah, yeah. So nobody believed that it, it would be true. So the first time you actually, you know, did your training, got in the cockpit and flew. Was it everything you imagined since you were 10? No, I've never been more scared in my life. Why? My first flight, uh -huh. uh, I realized that I was scared of heights and I didn't know that. Okay, I knew aeroplanes flew, but I didn't know that when I'm up there that I would be scared of a height. So it was one of the most frightening experiences I've ever had. Okay, I hope you understand. When people say they're afraid of heights, <laughs> yes. it means they hate elevators or looking down from, I don't know, 10 buildings. Floor. Yes. Yes. But you do realize you climb to... Far much higher than buildings. And? I had to overcome my fear of heights by telling myself, this is not a building. Yes. So I'm, I'm not going to fall off. Okay. So once I learned how an aeroplane flies, uh -huh. I got confidence and I said, oh, this is something I can overcome. And, in, in, and also, I'm in control. Okay. Yeah, so when I'm flying this aeroplane, I'm the one who's in control. True. So I'm in control of everything. That's how I overcome, I overcame that uh, fear. Okay, so when is the first time you uttered the words, this is your captain speaking? Oh, <laughs> uh, that was when I became a commercial pilot, uh, which was a couple of years after I started learning how to fly. I learned to fly when I was 17. Wow. Yeah, so, and then I got my... Does that mean you learned how to fly before you learned how to drive? Correct. I no. Had, I had my private pilot license before I had my driving license at 18. So I got my private pilot license at 17, my uh, driving, <laughs> driving license, license at 18, uh -huh. my commercial pilot license at 18 as well. So I was uh, already a professional pilot at the time I got my driving license. And thereafter is when I flew some passengers for the first time and I said... This is your captain, is your captain, captain speaking. Yes. Okay, so Captain Gilbert speaking. But you decided at some point you wanted to own an airline? That's right. When I was 23, uh, two friends of mine and myself, we were looking at uh, what we were doing at the time. Mm -hmm. We were commercial pilots. Mm -hmm. We were based in Mombasa. We were flying tourists to all over East Africa. Okay. Mainly uh, Lamu. We used to go to Amboseli, mm -hmm. Masai Mara, all the game parks in the country. And even to our neighboring uh, countries, uh, Kilimanjaro, Dar es Salaam, Zanzibar. So we used to fly tourists around. And then we sat one day and we said, you know, we know that guy who's bringing these tourists to these airplanes. We know him. Uh, we know him. Uh -huh. One of my friends said, why don't we start our own airline? Let's go and talk to that guy and tell him, give us business. And all we need to do is look for a dege. <laughs> and that's what really? we did. Yeah. At 23? Yes. That's what we did. So we went, we spoke to the guy. He said, yeah, bring an airplane and I'll give you business. Yeah, so we went and we scrambled around we, we, to look for an airplane. You, of course, you have to find an airplane yes. that's for sale. Yes. We found one that's for sale. Where I was working uh, before as a flying instructor, uh -huh. uh, I knew the owners. And they had an airplane that they were selling. It was a nice eight-passenger twin-engine uh, airplane. And it was for sale at a good price. So we went to a bank 
and we told them we want money <laughs> to, to buy, buy this thing. Plane. Yeah. What did and they, they gave us the money and Go we on. bought it. Yeah. The bank gave you money. The, the bank gave us money. And you bought a plane. Yes. Had you bought your own cars by then? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're just about to organize a car at around that time, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, so anyway, we got into Degas. So we got into Joakali business. Eagle Aviation. Yes. And you ran that for 10 years. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Today, and it was so important, I actually figure out who you are before I ask you about the journey from, you are the right person to be DG. So he, he could fly before he could drive. <laughs> and he bought a plane before he bought a car. Okay. And now we're going to the U.S. Yes. And you've been working, and the country has been working on this journey yes. for 10 years. Yes. I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Tell all your friends <laughs> you have not heard the story of Captain Gilbert Kibe. He's DG for the Kenya Silver, Civil Aviation Authority. Um, knew from the age of 10 he wanted to fly. He definitely went to flying school, but actually got his license to fly a plane before he could drive a car and was able to actually tell a bank, we want to buy a plane. I'm not quite sure who the bank manager was, but we've got to give that guy a round of applause. <laughs> he is your DG at uh, the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. It's Captain Gilbert Kibe. Please come back so you can tell us a story of how we went from we're Kenyans to we're Kenyans and we're flying to the US. That in a moment. Yeah.